Anti-Corruption Court yesterday dismissed an application by Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko to stop his prosecution in the 357 million shillings corruption case. Chief Magistrate Douglas Sokoti ruled the governor would have to answer to charges leveled against him. Meanwhile, the chances of Governor Sonko remaining at the helm of the Nairobi County continued to dwindle after the majority of the MCAs vowed to continue with the impeachment motion on Tuesday next week and send the governor home. And as Chris Thayer reports, activist Okia Omtata has already moved to court seeking orders blocking the transfer of functions of the Nairobi County government to the national government on grounds there was no public participation. It is said when it rains, it pours. And a day after Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko literally threw in the towel as far as running the county is concerned by handing over key functions to the national government. Embattled Sonko yet again suffered another blow after the anti-corruption court dismissed an application by Sonko to stop his prosecution in the alleged 357 million shillings corruption case. Although Sonko argued that the EACC illegally obtained evidence against him from banks and that the director of investigations, Abdi Mahmoud, had been adversely mentioned in the alleged corruption deals, Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti ruled that the case should continue and Sonko should answer to the charges. And as he fought for his innocence in court, Plans to impeach him at the county assembly continue to gain momentum with the man behind the impeachment motion, Minority Whip Peter Imwatok, indicating there is no looking back. That, that's a confirmation clearly that the guy is incompetent. The moment you are given a role to perform and you decide to seed it back, it's a clear, it's, in fact, it's one of the grounds of impeachment. So, I'm sure on every duties. Amesema mbaki na lighter duties, kama vile kiraja wangu amesema ya ku license dogs, uh, agriculture, ang kilimo yuko hapi ya Nairobi, ku license cemeteries, kufanya mambo ya betting na ku control pornography, hizo diyo majukumu ya governor Songo mbaki na those supporting the impeachment motion argue that the move by the president to take over functions of the county government has already validated the argument that Governor Sonko is not fit to hold office and that Nairobi needs another governor. He is not forgetting in the contract he signed the KRA is to collect revenue of the county. Then he's telling us, no, I have some other functions. Which functions? <laughs> We, we, we cannot do mob justice to a governor because that limit is being done elsewhere by the courts. It's being addressed by the courts. CC here to, is to dispense justice as it comes. According to the Speaker of the County Assembly, Beatrice Elachi, this move will not hinder the county assembly from their main role, which is oversight. I think uh, the county assembly has a role, a very critical role to play in terms of creating the frameworks on how they work. Through the committee that uh, the president said he will bring in, that committee now helps us to more uh, be closer in terms of engagements. While I know very well uh, that when a function goes back to the national government, the ministry of that function takes over. And back to the corridors of justice, an activist Okio Mtata filed a petition seeking orders to block the transfer of functions of the Nairobi County government to the national government. Omtata argues that there is no cabinet paper on the transfer or a resolution by parliament or county executive committee. Going forward, 2022, to elect leaders who are responsible, accountable, knowledgeable, and who are focused on service to humanity. And I think we should also amend uh, the constitution so that uh, we tighten the rope. We, I don't, we should not base our election on uh, uh, you know, governors on, on degree or uh, having achieved degree only. We also need to tighten chapter 6 of the constitution. The old cities, Abuja, name them, uh, Chicago, Washington, they are controlled by the national government because Nairobi is not in that county. Nairobi is a unique county. It is the heart, actually, it is the hub of Africa. Meanwhile, hours after signing the pact between the county and national government, unknown people defaced the land statues that had been planted outside Mike Sonko's office 
at City Hall. The statues, which were later moved to a known destination, were part of the governor's plan in 2019 to beautify the city. Members of the Nairobi County Assembly are still determined to ensure that they impeach Governor Sonko, but the ultimate decision will still rest with the Senate. Will they follow the footsteps of Kiambu County, where they impeached the former governor, Ferdinand Waititu? Well, time will tell.